let's talk about drilling down on those on those rents. So you of course have to understand your floor plan. That that's probably the biggest key. But what would what are the two of you going to do when you're trying to back into a pro forma rent, knowing that this isn't going to be done for another eighteen months? I never project on oh it's going to increase over the next twelve to eighteen months. I look at the comps on what it's currently at, and a lot of times it, we've been in a market where it has increased, and that's just the cherry on top. So basically, like we've been talking about, just really doing your research, making those calls, making those visits, understanding the product type or the comps in the surrounding area, and digging a little deeper. Yeah. Use Rentometer, Rentler, CoStar. I mean, there's some a lot of great Zillow, tools out Zillow there. Rents. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. some good tools online when it comes to, okay, what's renting for what and what does that look like online? Yeah. And then you can get your boots on the ground too if you need to. So... I have two things to say about that. Number one is when we talk about digging a little bit deeper, something that's really important to remember, we've looked at listings on, on CoStar and online and it says, hey, you know, twelve ninety five a month. When you get into that fine print, you oftentimes find a different story to be told. Well, and guess what? The pet fee is $50 and we have a, a technology <coughs> package of $100 and a parking fee of $30, right? All of this stuff impacts monetization streams that you might have or that you might be missing out on. And so you have to take that into account as well. Uh, I wanted to add one more thing too. Something that we've seen once or twice is you go out, you dig around for, for info. There's a time to push it. And then there's a time to not push it. But I, I've evaluated projects before where there aren't comps. So, so what do you do? I, I mean, sometimes... That makes you say, well, why aren't there? But in a market with a, a low unemployment rate where growth has been happening, you're calling your shot. You are setting the market. Now, that takes a lot of courage. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that on your build for rent project, you can or you should do that. But I'm not going to tell you that you don't have it available to you if you're feeling confident. You could potentially call your shot and say, you know what? A three bed, two bath townhouse doesn't exist in this market but the vacancy rate is extremely low. I'm 1600 bucks. And you know what? I know the people are going to line up and they're going to figure out how to take, because I see all the other project projects out here. I'm, I'm evaluating a community in Indiana right now. The newest apartment complex is from 1990. The unemployment <laughs> rate is three and a half percent in the market. And the vacancy rate is 2%. I think I'm going to call the shot on that one right? Because it, it seems to me like that's a market that's begging for inventory. Any thoughts? But you're also going to be conservative, right? So you're going to set your rent at what you think, hey, this is maybe a conservative number, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you can't ask for more. Why not? Yeah. You, one thing that I did, and I've always wanted to do this, and we should do it more. You know, when a mortgage company evaluates somebody and as to whether they can afford a house payment or not, I think it's what, 33, maybe 35% of their gross income for per month, they say, ah, we don't want to have a mortgage of more than that. And a lot of landlords use that too. Like they don't, if a tenant is applying for a thousand dollar rent and they make 2000 a month, that tenant is probably overextended and can't really afford the rent. And so I used a great website called neighborhood scout and pulled neighborhood reports all around this property that I'm evaluating. And I looked at the median household income. And I wanted to make sure that shot that I'm calling could be supported by not charging more than 35 or so percent of the average annual uh, household income Smart. in the area. Yeah. So yeah. then you know, okay, if I call it, is somebody there? Can somebody actually afford it? Well, and I think if you can't find a comp, maybe you can find some single family homes and kind of dumb it down from there, right? In the sense of, hey, maybe they're going to have less responsibility living in a townhome but maybe some people want the yard and the townhome doesn't have the yard. So I think there's some give and take there too, that yes, it's not the perfect comp, but at least it can help give you an idea and guide you to figure yeah. out what the right comp is. But the thing that I like that you brought up, and this is the last thing I'll bring up, is, is the add-ons. So when you're doing your, your comps or looking at different apartment complexes or different comps close by, what are the add-ons? And we haven't really talked about that, maybe just a little bit, but the add-ons are what is the property management company or whoever's going to be renting that unit, 
what extra are they going to have to pay for? Are they going to have to pay for water, sewer, garbage, electric? Are they going to have to pay for to get into the clubhouse, to the gym, to use the laundry? You'd be surprised on how many add-ons there are with the comps, and then that might allow you to bump your rents up just a little bit, depending on what the add-ons are. And you're never going to know what the add-ons are, usually online, right? You have to make that call. Dig a little deeper. Yeah, they're not very great. And I think it's because they don't want you. You know, they want a tenant. Well, they want to get the tenant through the door. Yes. Well, it's the same with us. We do the same thing, right? Our property management does the same thing. We have a tech and amenities package that we add on. So we have our base rent, but it gets people at least coming in the door saying, hey, I'm interested in this unit. Oh, and by the way, this is what's included. When they see that there's value there, though, they're usually fine with it. If you're saying, oh, we're going to have this add on and you're getting the clubhouse yeah and you're trying to charge them 105 bucks that's not doesn't feel well the, yeah good. that tenant here's here's 1200 in rent and they're going yeah but what about my internet what about my water uh-huh. what about my trap they don't know the real story so the lower number gets them in the door but like you said if the value is there then they'll take yeah. the deal